You know, we're going into the Christmas season and some of us are real happy, but there's some people who struggle during this season and we don't want to forget them. And if you don't mind, I'd just like to leave you with just a little bit of something that the Lord had laid on my heart to with you today because I don't know about you, but it seems like every Christmas it seems to have a different flavor, a different message. Every Christmas it seems to be something different. And this Christmas just, just came at me with a miracle, a miracle. I don't know about you, but I'm expecting a miracle. The other side of me says that I need a miracle. There's some things that I'm dealing with and I know you may be dealing with and you've gone to your total wit's end. You've used all of your intellectual capital and capabilities. You've run out of money and you're basically out of time. And at this point in your life, you just need a miracle. How are you going to make it? How's this going to all come together? What is the plan here, Lord? Some of you have even given up on a miracle. It didn't happen in a time frame that you thought it should, so you just kind of gave up on it. Walked away. Decided I'm just going to make a, a life for myself in the valley. I'm just going to stay right here. But I just came here to tell you today, all of this that has gone on had a purpose. There was a reason in mind. There's a reason that you are here. It's not just because you heard that Chuck Campbell would be here, or that Mike, Pastor Peace would be here. It's not just that. The Lord orchestrated for you to be here. And some of you on the worship team and in the band, you thought it was just a bunch of rehearsals so that you got your parts right. but. What was really happening was the Lord was preparing your heart for the miracle that's about to come your way. So I just want to share just a very quick story with you that I'm literally going to read. And I just want to declare a miracle to happen in your life. I want to turn the light back on on your hopes and on your dreams. I want to leave you with something this Christmas that as you go through these next four or five days leading up to Christmas will prepare you for what's about to come. Because I'm, I, I, with, with every piece of my being, I believe that the Lord has a miracle in store for you. not just about the presence. It's about a gift and a miracle that's on its way. In the book of Luke, the first chapter, and just a couple verses here, verse 26, it says, Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the descendants of David and the virgin's name was Mary and coming in he said to her greetings favored one the Lord is with you. But she was perplexed at the statement and kept pondering what kind of salutation this was. The angel said to her, don't be afraid. Mary, for God, for you have found favor with God. Verse 31 says, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you shall name him 
Jesus. He will be great and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and his kingdom will not have an end. But this is what I want to bless you with today. Because Mary was about to give birth to a miracle. Jesus. She was about to give birth to a miracle. And as a result of this miracle, your miracle is going to happen. Verse 34 says, Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I'm a virgin? And many of you can expect a miracle. Even though you may not be worthy of the miracle, the miracle has already been given to you. And unless, it, it, are we done? Because the Lord's just laying something on my heart I want to do today. If you're here today within the sound of my voice and you're expecting a miracle, I want you to come to the altar. If you were within the sound of my voice today and you need a miracle because there's no way you can make this happen on your own. Yeah, you stayed up all night worrying about it. You tried to call and get an answer to the question that has been pondering your mind and you can't find the answer and I'm just here to tell you there's a miracle being born today. I don't know what the miracle is you need, but God knows the plan has already been in place. 